Hello everyone, my name is Chinmesh Ate. Uh, welcome to Conversia. Let's do it better. This is our series and this is the second lecture in the series on ISO 9001-2015 uh, Practical Viewpoint. Okay, so this series actually, uh, th this lecture is actually on PDCA. What is PDCA? You've been seeing that in job descriptions, resumes that you receive and people talking about it. PDCA really stands for plan, do, check, act. And that's a pretty logical, right? Like we've been doing that in everyday life over the years. But what is really plan, do, check, act? Let, let's have a practical viewpoint, you know, because our whole series intent is at the practical viewpoint. So let's see what planning really is. So what planning is actually from a quality management system standpoint is actually looking um, into uh, what kind of planning goes in across your whole supply chain starting from let's say tendering or contract review phase and all the way to project execution, um, pro provision of services and products to customer, logistics, uh, aftermarket services. So everything has to be planned. Without a plan, you cannot execute. So the plan is very essential for you to become that uh, quality management professional. So let's take an example of how you can plan, let's say manufacturing of a bolt, for example. Uh, so before you manufacture the bolt, based on the Lean and Six Sigma principles, it has to be a pull system. So you must have some orders in your uh, system. Uh, the customer should have a demand that should pull all the subsequent downstream operations of your supply chain so what really it does is it really pulls and make you work for that uh, operation so the planning of a uh, portion of that takes place of how many orders we have how we should do the scheduling and all that that's a manufacturing portion of that if you see the quality assurance uh, how do we have the processes do we have the procedures in place for to do that when you manufacture, are you capturing the records? Are you keeping the records for minimum of five years at the same quality assurance, right? Uh, uh, whenever you're measuring, are you uh, are you, uh, measuring equipment up to the calibration standards? So that's the second portion. And um, many other aspects, we will see that. But again, everything has to be planned before you do that actual work. It's like a pre-preparation of the work that you do. So that's the planning portion. The do is actually the execution or some people say project execution or contract execution. So whatever you plan, whatever you put it in the paper, it's now time to put it into reality. Are you doing that? If, do, uh, if you guys are doing it, that's good. Uh, so that takes care of plan and do. So after you do that, it's, ti uh, it's time to look back and see whatever you plan, have you really did it? Have you really done it? Um, what are the outcomes of that? Uh, are there any differences? And if there are any differences or non-conformances or any deviations, how you can correct those? So that's proportion of plan, do, check, and all those non-conformances I said, any action, actions uh, emerging from all these three phases are taking place into the act. So you act on your deviations, you act on your non-conformances, and you, re you really focus on how we can stick to the plan, how we can could have executed to the better to the plan, and how we can come back to the track. So that's basically a plan to check out. And in the future videos that we're gonna see on the QMS, we're gonna see how we can tie down each of these phases of plan to check act to each of the sections, uh, which really start from section four in ISO 9001, 2015, and go back to um, uh, around um, section 10. Uh, the first three sections, by the way, uh, it's, it's, I, I think it's a good time uh, for me to discuss this. The first, uh, uh, three sections actually uh, they deal with uh, first of all introduction glossary uh, terms and it's very basic it's same as ISO 9001 2008 it makes references to that ISO 9000 uh, 2015 system uh, but real uh, fun starts at section 4 and that goes through section 10 and again it's based on PDCA cycle so uh, just to uh, a quick summary of what PDCA really stands for it stands for plan do 
check at have you uh, before you start any work have you planned it uh, do you have a, enough data to actually execute that work uh, when you do the actual work that's a do phase and after that it's a time to look back and see have you really done what we are supposed to do and finally it's an act portion to get yourself back on the track and the whole cycle repeats itself so that's the beauty of pdca see you next time please subscribe to conversia let's do it better thank you